coronation complete. Tennis Sandgren wins the French Open wild card. And two days later, takes the title at the St. Joseph's Candler Savannah Challenger in straight sets over Jao Pedro Sorgi. Four week stretch for Tennis Sandgren. Ends with his second title of the year, third of his career. And maybe a dark horse. First couple rounds of the French Open. Mike Cation with the winner of the St. Joseph's Candler Savannah Challenger, Tennis Sandgren, third title of your career, second of this year, and it's been an amazing 11 months for you since you restarted at the Futures level back in June of last year. Yep. What's changed in terms of your game and also the mental side for you? Um, I think my game is about the same. I think uh, mentally uh, made some improvements that may be tough to tell sometimes, but um, I'm giving myself more of a chance, consistently more of a chance, and uh, competing well, um, fighting hard, and um, you know, just staying as relaxed as I can. And uh, you know, I think my serve and my forehand have improved a lot, and they've given me some free points, which also helps. The big story, obviously, was the French Open wild card, the USTA reciprocal wild card, which you won on Friday. How relaxed were you compared Friday to Saturday in terms of going into a match? Um, I was a little bit more relaxed, and then Tommy made that abundantly clear that that wasn't going to fly <laughs> pretty fast. Um, so that that changed pretty quickly. But um, last week was tough in Tallahassee. Watching, I lost first round, and, and watching. Um, you know, all the guys do well and, and Bjorn do well, which is great to see, um, but it put some added pressure on me and, right. and the points kind of closed up. And then early this week, it seemed like everybody was winning. Bjorn had an amazing win. Um, we had six guys in like the, you know, second round quarterfinals. Um, right. So it was just, there, there was a lot of pressure, but you know, I was just trying to take care of what I could take care of, you know, that you're supposed to do it anyway. There's, there's added pressure on, on all these matches regardless. So, um, you know, I just try to focus on the things I could control and, and the details that I can have my own control over. and. Um, you know, let the chips fall where they may. Today a little bit more relaxed, but obviously the last two matches, third set tie breaks that were just extremely high level. Yeah. How were your legs going into this match today against a guy who you knew was going to be very aggressive? Right. Um, you know, my legs weren't bad. My legs weren't bad. I feel like my fitness, my fitness level is pretty good. Um, you know, having some tough matches does help in a way that you, you know, your, your lactic acid threshold is a little higher. Um, but, you know, he's a great player, he's obviously having a great week, and uh, I knew it was going to be tough. Um, but, you know, I was, I was a little bit relaxed too, because I'm like, I've seen it all. I've literally seen it all this week. I mean, I have seen every little bit of tennis that you could possibly play. I mean, he, one match point, he hit the lefty pickup pick volley angle winner, and I'm like, this is typical. Like, this isn't even <laughs> surprising anymore. This is what has been happening all week, and I've had some of the craziest matches of my career, like, back to back. To back. It's been nuts. Um, but that's what you want heading into a Grand Slam. I mean, this is going to be yes. your first Grand Slam. Now you're seeing these guys are gunning for you. Right. That's the kind of preparation. I, I feel like want. I've seen some. Some. I feel like we both, both my opponent, um, Henry Laxon and, and Tommy Paul and Mackenzie McDonald, first round. Um, those guys brought it and they pushed me as hard as that you know you could be pushed in a, in a tennis match. Um, you know, two guys playing equal um, and competing. So that's that's great for me. That's great for me moving forward. I'm glad that I could pull them out um, and keep getting that experience. Um, it's only going to serve me well at the time for sure. New coach in Jim Madrigal. Yeah. Um, it's it's a recent thing and yeah. you don't normally see that quick of a reaction to right. have a, just a huge jump. Two finals in a couple weeks. First ATP main draw in Houston. Right. What has he meant to you? Um, well, Jim's a great guy. Jim's a great guy and he's. Uh, he put up with some stuff last week that um, was kind of a f not ideal to put up with the first week. Uh, it was a little volatile, but um, you know he's he's a great guy and he's he's been a good friend um, for for quite a quite a many years now. Both we're both you know been in Nashville for a long time, um, so he's been helping with my mental the most, um, kind of helping me relax as well, and 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 you know some little things in my game just to get a little bit better. He sees pretty clearly, um, which is great because I need. You know, some concise message to just get it across, and that that can help to make a difference mm -hmm. quickly. If if the message is kind of uh, muddy, then it's tough for me to grasp. But he's making it pretty simple for me to get um, and make some improvements on it fast. Well, you've obviously got the French Open coming up in a couple of weeks. You do have a tournament before that, but you have a week off now. Yes. And I think everybody wants to know how does Tennis Sandgren celebrate when he has a week off after winning a title? I spend the first three days not moving playing video games. Okay. I, I, my phone is off, my, everything is off, um, my mom brings me food, and I play games for about three <laughs> days, and uh, then I turn the lights on okay. at the end of the third day, 
and I venture outside and I uh -huh. start to stretch out the stretch out the limbs a little bit and, and get moving. But no, I like to just just chill for a couple of days, just chill and uh, relax. And uh, you know, we're going constantly, and uh, to be able to go home and just and just relax and play with my dog and and just be at home is, is fantastic. And I'm looking forward to some Cracker Barrel later this evening as well. <laughs> do you do you want to give the League of Legends screen name so people can can know it's you? No, nobody needs to know. If they come across <laughs> me and I and I'm not. <laughs> Not handling myself correctly. Nobody needs to know that. Nobody needs to know that. Tennis Sandgren, <laughs> your champion of the St. Joseph's Candler Savannah Challenger, Mike Cation signing off. You've been watching live streaming on the USTA Pro Circuit.